Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this April 27th. It is 4.42 a.m. Central Time with some patchy, dense fog in a few places this morning. Be mindful of that, especially around bodies of water, you know, lakes, creeks, streams, rivers, and especially in those areas that picked up light rain yesterday. That's where you're more likely to find fog. And we're talking about along the Cumberland Plateau and east of Bowling Green and south of Bowling Green down into Middle Tennessee. That's where most of the rain fell yesterday, and that's where you're going to find the patchy fog this morning. So lights on low beam, extra time to get to your destination. Uh, Be careful. A couple of patchy areas. It's not like widespread, but it's uh, patchy enough and dense enough in a few spots Uh, to reduce visibility, so be careful. Otherwise, we're starting out with temperatures in the 40s for the most part this morning, just a wee bit cooler than it has been the last few mornings. We hit a high of 63 yesterday officially at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened at 1.42 p.m., 10 degrees shy of the average high of 73 51 was our low temperature just before midnight. That's two degrees warmer than the average of 49. And one year ago, we had a high of 83 and a low of 51 back in 2017. We picked up one one one-hundredth of an inch of rain at the airport. Some of you did get closer to a tenth of an inch, especially east of the Bowling Green area once you went over toward the Green River Lake, Lake Cumberland region. Um, A lot more rain than what we had in Bowling Green, and that's where we thought it would uh, occur. So that's where we're seeing some of the patchy, dense fog here this morning. Today, though, once we get past the fog, mostly sunny and warmer. We're going to see a high of 73 today. Nice. West wind at 11, a little bit of a breeze. Tonight will be mainly clear and cool, but a weak cold front is going to pass through with maybe just a few clouds. It is not going to bring us any rain, but it will cool us down for Saturday, just a few degrees. We're going to go down to 48 tonight, and then with a sunny 67 on Saturday, and a breeze, a northwest wind at 12. But it's going to be very nice conditions for the 7th Annual Hope for Homeless uh, food drive that is going on this weekend, non-perishable food items being collected right there in the corner of Campbell Lane between Trees and Trends and Farmers National Bank. It kicks off today at 11 o'clock, and then uh, the Realtors Association and volunteers are going to be there all day today, all night tonight. It's a, yeah, it's a 24-hour thing. All night tonight, all day Saturday, all Saturday night, and pretty much all of the day on Sunday, or at least until about 4 o'clock. Um, so this is going to be uh, where they camp out there, and so any time you can drop off non-perishable food items that are being collected for area schools and for Hotel Inc., and uh, for other agencies that are trying to restock their shelves for those families in need. So you can help. You can go to the uh, SAM 100.7 website, which is BowlingGreenSAM.com, same place where you go to listen to my radio show. Go there, and you'll click on the Hope for Homeless 7 graphic, and that will take you to a page that has all of the... uh, Items that are going to be collected, non-perishable, long shelf life food items. That's what we're looking for. So that kicks off at 11 o'clock today. I'm going to be out there actually tomorrow, uh, Saturday, from about 9 to 11 tomorrow morning. uh, Doing a live remote on SAM 100.7. So I hope that you'll stop by and help out with whatever you can. Special collections at both Bowling Green Walmart stores on Sunday from noon to 4. That's something new that we've put into place this year. So you've got a couple of opportunities through the weekend to uh, help out in this effort. 
Hope for Homeless is what it's called. So a good day for it for Saturday and a good day for it on Sunday. Sunny and 64 Sunday, but both Saturday night and Sunday night, it could get cold enough under a clear sky to produce a few areas of patchy frost. Remember what I've said before, what my grandpa told me. He said, if you want to be completely sure that you're not going to ruin any plants that you put out for the growing season, wait until after Derby. And guess what next weekend is? Derby. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, he was he knew his stuff. He he had big gardens and fields and he knew what he he knew that stuff. He always said wait till after Derby, he may be right, especially this year. So a couple of frosty nights are possible Saturday night, Sunday night, as we get down into the mid to upper thirties. Monday though, under a big dome of high pressure. Warmer, sunshine, 73. Tuesday, which is the first day of May, sunny and 80. Wednesday, mostly sunny, 82. Wow. Is it going to be summer? <laughs> We're going to go right into summer, aren't we? Well, Thursday, we've moved the chance of showers and thunderstorms into Thursday out of Wednesday. And then a high of 80, 30% chance of showers there. But, hey, 80-degree weather for the middle of next week, that's not bad. And for the brand-new month of May. All right, know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky. Today's the last day that we'll start AM Kentucky at 530 because Monday we start at 5 a.m., that's right, an extended AM Kentucky starting Monday at 5 a.m., two hours of AM Kentucky on Monday starting. And then later today, 11 a.m. on midday, and this afternoon, if you can, join me on my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m., and as I mentioned, where you can find the list of items needed for Hope for Homeless, it's the same place where you can listen to my radio show online or on your phone or any other device that has internet. BowlingGreenSam.com.